Hey, I'm Ben Pollard. Welcome to Super Thursday, where I teach superheroes like you how to do special effects. Today, we got five popular special effects that I'm gonna show you. Let's go. The first one we're gonna do is how to clone yourself. So I've been shooting this superhero TV series with no budget. I have this scene where the SWAT swarms our hero's house, but only had one guy and one costume. This is where I had the idea to make just clones of the same guy to make the scene feel bigger than it actually was. So the first step is to film a shot on a tripod or a steady surface and action. have your guy act like each character. If you wanna keep things simple, don't have them overlap each other and get a shot of an empty frame. Bring everything into Adobe Premiere Pro, go to the part of the video where there's no one in the shot, right click, add frame hold. This makes a blank background for the duration of your video. On top of this layer, find all the shots of your actor that you like and place them on top of each other like this. If you change the opacity to 50% and effects controls, you can see the clips and how they look together. Click on your top clip and draw a mask using this free draw bezier tool. Masks are kind of like windows. Whenever you create one, you can see what's behind it. So just draw a line down somewhere on your frame. Once you close the mask, you'll see the video below will appear. You can increase the feather to kind of help these two videos blend together. And voila, you already have two guys at the same time. Right here, this SWAT guy happens to run into the mask. So we're gonna animate the mask so it moves out of the way. Click on this clock to keyframe it and then just move the mask to follow him as he approaches it. You can already hit yourself with the piano using this technique. But if you want an advanced version, like have them overlap each other, here's how you would do it. Right here I have a SWAT guy who runs in front of everybody. I'm gonna right click on his video, replace with After Effects Composition. Save the project, double click on the video layer to open the layer window, click on the rotor brush tool, and I'm gonna paint him out. The pink outline shows everything that's gonna be included with this video. I'm trying to get him without a background. So I'm gonna select everything that I want. I can hold Option or Alt to remove anything that's not him. I'm gonna go frame by frame and adjust as needed. And once I'm done, I can adjust my feather and some of the settings here until I get the best result. Then I'm gonna click File, Export, Add to Render Queue. I'm gonna change my settings here, and I'm gonna change the format to QuickTime, and change the channels to RGB plus Alpha. Click OK. I'm gonna choose a location to save this and click Render. Then I go back to Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna place this video right on top. Boom. After adding some color grading, here's what we got. Next, I'm gonna show you how to run at super speed with slow motion and some lightning. I love these slow motion scenes from The Flash. So let's create our own and dodge some bullets while we're at it. First I have an empty shot with no one in it. Then I put up a green screen and put Barry Allen in front of it. We can remove the green screen by applying the ultra key effect and we select the green screen with the key color picker. I click on the green screen and boom, it's gone. We can slow down our footage by dragging this layer up, right clicking on the video clip, show clip keyframes, time remapping, and speed. And I can click on this dot to add a keyframe for I want the video to slow down. And then I drag this line down. I want him to move at 50% speed. To make it kind of ramp down, I can adjust this to gradually slow his speed. Then I found these 3D bullets online and I dropped them on top of the video. I removed the green screen the same way with the ultra key effect. Then I'll animate the position and scale. Now all that's needed is some lightning bolts. You can just bring these in and add a bunch in front of him and behind him and that's it. All right, now let's shoot some bullets. So pretend to be shooting a gun, then add a muzzle flash. You can find all these assets I use in the description of this video. Just bring it on top and adjust the size of it here. You can animate it to follow your gun. If you want to take it to the next level, color your footage and add a mask of the orangish light to appear when the gun fires. And that's it. For the fourth special effect, I'm gonna show you how to have heat vision. Bring your clip into Adobe Premiere Pro. Duplicate it by holding the Option or Alt and dragging it up. Cut the clip to start at the beginning when the eye is opening up. Select the Free Draw Bezier tool and draw a mask around the eye, and click the Play button here to track the mask. The mask will now follow the eye. You can manually adjust the mask until it follows your eye perfectly, then open Lumetri Color, go to Curves, drag the middle of the white line to the top left corner, increase the feather of the mask, and duplicate this mask, and change the blend mode to Linear Dodge Add. Bring the white back down to the middle, the red to the top left corner, and the green and blue to the bottom left corner. Then increase the mask expansion and the feather until it looks good. You'll do the exact same process for the other eye. Then bring in some heat vision stock footage, drop it in, adjust the position, rotation, and scale to fit the eye. You can animate these by clicking on the clock. Then you give some glow to the heat vision, 
by right clicking new item color mask okay select the red color okay and okay drag it to the top layer change the blend mode to screen create a circular mask near the heat vision increase the feather and expansion keyframe the opacity go from zero to a number that looks pretty good and then back to zero. Then you can add some camera shake by right clicking in the media panel, add an adjustment layer, search for the transform effect, drop it on the adjustment layer, keyframe its position and scale to move up and down to shake the camera. Now let's see it in action. <laughs> Okay, this last one blew my mind. I thought anytime you wanted to make an object 3D, you had to move it into After Effects. But it turns out you can do this in Adobe Premiere Pro. Search for basic 3Ds in your effects, drop it onto your clip, go to the effect controls, the swivel will change an object from left to right, tilt moves it up and down, and distance to image makes it closer or further away from you. Pretty nifty, right? And those are five super special effects that you can do in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you wanna see the video that I'm making using all these special effects, check out my short film right there. Or you check out one of my other tutorials over there. Till next time, stay super.